In this video I will show you how to enable remote desktop mode in Windows Server 2016 data center. I create Windows Server 2016 in VMware software I'll start it up now. The version of the server is Windows Server Data Center 2016. I will add server services to enable remote desktop feature. Watch what I do, pause the video if I do it too fast. Check the box Remote Desktop Services. Next, select .NET Framework 3.5 features. Check all these boxes. For the next steps, please keep the defaults. Here, you tick restart so that the server restarts after adding new features. Click install and wait for the server to install new features.
OK, so the server added the remote desktop service. I will actively restart the machine for the update to complete. To check the IP address of the current machine type CMD and type it config. This will be the IP address used by other devices to access the server. I will test it now. I will use the username Doty Ending to log in with the new password. Please enter the server's IP address, username and password to access. Cred SSP error. OK, I will handle this error on the server. Select this PC to adjust the properties and uncheck it allow remote desktop with network level authentication. Try accessing the server again. OK, so it worked. Now I will create more users on this server.
I created three more users in this server. These three users I will add them to the group of users using the remote desktop service. I added user account 1 to remote desktop group, you do the same with the other two users. I will try using another virtual machine to access the server. Remember that devices want to access the machine, they must be on the same network, if different network layer, the devices are advertised and found each other. I will try with the first account. It successfully accessed, but I'll have to reset it on the server, update the user's password again. Check the box for password never expire. Try logging in again. I will continue to log into the server with the other two accounts.
In the server you will also see which users are accessing at the same time. So all users have successfully logged into the server. You can share a file on the server, everyone will see it for general use. I would like to end this video here, good luck please subscribe to my channel and support me.